Good evening. My name is Leela Street, and as you know, I'm the daughter of Diana Effner. And as you also know, she is the creator of the Little Darling and the Little Dreamer dolls. And I'm here with my mom's sister, Casey, and her husband, Troy. My sister will be meeting us um, this evening, um, and she'll be here with us tomorrow. Uh, so the four of us have come together to carry the torch at Diana Effner Dolls. And tonight, we want to begin with a story. It's the story of Snow White and Rose Red. I'm sure when you heard that the souvenir dolls doll was going to be Snow White, this is the image that came to mind. But this is not Disney's <laughs> Snow White. Snow White and Rose Red is a fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm, based on a German folk tale. Snow White and Rose Red are two little girls living with their mother, a poor widow, in a small cottage by the woods. Fair-haired Snow White is quiet, shy, and prefers playing indoors, doing housework, and reading, while dark-haired Rose Red is outspoken, lively, and cheerful, and prefers to play outside. They are both really good little girls who love each other and their mother dearly. One winter's night, there is a knock at the door. Rose Red opens the door to find a bear. At first, <laughs> she is frightened, but the bear is kind and gentle and tells her not to be afraid. I'm half frozen and I merely want to warm up a little at your fireplace, he says. They let the bear in and he lies down beside the fire. Snow White and Rose Red brush the snow from his fur and they quickly become quite friendly with the bear. They let the bear spend the night in front of the fire. The next morning he leaves, trotting out into the woods. The bear comes back every night for the rest of the winter and the family grows used to him. When summer comes, the bear tells them that he must go away for a while to guard his treasure from a wicked dwarf as during winter his treasure was hidden and buried by the snow. During the summer, the girls are walking through the forest when they find a dwarf whose beard is stuck in a tree. The girls rescue him by cutting his beard free, but the dwarf is ungrateful and yells at them for cutting his beautiful beard. The girls encounter the dwarf several more times that summer, rescue him from some peril each time, and each time the dwarf is ungrateful. <laughs> then, one day, they meet the dwarf again. He is terrified because a bear is about to kill him. The dwarf pleads with the bear and begs him to eat the girls. <laughs> Instead, the bear takes no heed and kills the dwarf with one swipe of his paw. <laughs> Instantly, the bear transforms, transforms into a prince. The girls learn that the dwarf previously put a spell on the prince, turning him into a bear, so he could steal the prince's precious stones. The curse is broken with the death of the wicked dwarf, and Snow White marries the prince, and Rose Red marries the prince's brother. And they all live happily ever after. <laughs> Designed the costume for the souvenir doll, Snow White, and we regret that Magalie was not able to be with us this year, but she sent us a greeting by video. Bonjour, everyone. I am sorry that I could not make it to the convention this year, but wanted you to know that my heart and thoughts are there with you all. I thought it would be nice to make a video on how Snow White was designed. When Casey talked to me about wanting to do Snow White for the souvenir this year, I immediately thought about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But she said, no, 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 not Disney's Snow White, but the Grimm Brothers Snow White and Rose Red. I thought it was a charming idea. 
I was to design Snow White for the souvenirs, and Nelly would do Rose Red for the centerpiece dolls. Talking with her about the designs so that the two sisters would go well together, we decided to choose sea foam blue and ecru for Snow White, and dark rose tones and ecru for Rose Red. Both sisters would have an apron, pantaloons, and a little short boots. We also wanted lots of ruffles and lace. When designing an ensemble for mass production, there are some considerations to think about. Everything has to be sent to the company fairly early so that it can be produced and shipped in time for the convention. I was happy with the sample the company sent me. I had just a few small corrections to make. Snow White is a quiet and shy little girl who prefers to spend her time indoors doing housework and reading, while her sister is outspoken, lively, and cheerful, and she prefers to be outside. Casey wanted to use the number four sculpt with fair complexion and blue-green eyes. Jerry painted the prototype beautifully, giving her an innocent and shy look. We wanted her to have long, wavy, light blonde hair, and also having a bonnet that would work for indoors as well as outdoors use. So, here she is, dressed in her romantic ensemble, ruffles and lace, bits of embroidery accent on the waist and bonnet, matching apron and pantaloons, and her side-buttoned boots. I hope that you will enjoy her as much as I enjoy designing her ensemble. Wishing you all a wonderful time in Oklahoma, and hoping to see you all next year. thank those who contributed to the creation of the centerpiece doll, Rose Red. The dress was designed by Nellie Valentino and sewn by Maritza Moran, and the hat was created by Peggy Brown. And finally, we would like to recognize all the members of the Diane Ebner Artist Guild. We'll start with the members that are here. So when I call your name, stand up or wave your hand. Here we have Lana Dobbs. Pat Green. Nelly Valentino. Gwen Peard. Joyce Matthews. Helen Skinner. Linda Allen and lastly we have honorary member Ricky Rich for many years Ricky has been such a gracious help to all the members of the guild in the area of marketing and promotions so we really appreciate him for that um, and now for the guild members that couldn't be here with us this year who we greatly miss we have Jerry Uribe Magalie Dawson and Lee Ann Carpenter. Thank you all for coming to the Little Darling Banquet this year. It has been such a pleasure to be here and meet everyone again. We hope to play dollies with you all again next year.
to take it out of the shipper, but please don't open it until everyone receives their dollars. That's right. Oh, this is new. Look at the sticker. If you look when you get your shipper box, it's taped on one end, it's cut open on the other end, so you can make it easier to get out of the shipper box. But please don't open the doll boxes until everybody has theirs. This is a really popular event, so we've got tables packed in very closely. All the chairs are really tight, so just waiting. I can smell the new doll inside. I can't have a peek, but I can have a preview. I can smell the new doll smell. I almost forgot it. It smells so good. All those endorphins. Thank you for letting us <laughs> you, you know the smell. You know the smell. Get a great unboxing video. Which did you get all the No, I did not. I borrowed other people's dolls. This doll is my doll, though. No borrowing from here. This is mine. This apron here, look how pretty that is. Like this vintage looking lace. You've got the embroidered belt, all these pretty ruffled layers. She's got an underskirt. She's got some lacy underpants. Oh look, she's got a book. Snow white and rose red. She's got a bonnet. 
there in the side, and she's got button-up boots. I'm going to pull her out. Let's get her all the way out and look at her. Luckily, I brought an extra suitcase so I can take her back in her box with all the other purchases I've made since I've been here. say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Fair Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Krista R, Victory Ron, Shorna R, Shara Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, Shalane C, and Penny P. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thanks for watching!